hello everyone welcome to my other video and in this video i am going to discuss you about xml so let's start so what is xml xml stands for extensible markup language so what is markup language we will see it in my next slide so the next point is xml is designed to store and transport data and you will get to know this point after seeing the implementation of XML. So watch the video till the end. XML is designed to carry data, not to display data. So we all know that HTML is used to display data. So the next point is XML tags are not predefined. That means you need to define all the tags in your XML file. So the last point is xml is platform independent that means you can use it in any operating system or any OS, and also the language so now we will see what is markup language so in the definition you can see a markup language is a language that uses tags to define elements within a document it is human readable that means you can easily understand just by reading it and the XML code is used to specify the formatting and those are called tags so HTML and XML are the examples of markup language and here you can see a simple syntax of markup language so now we will see difference between HTML and XML so HTML stands for hypertext markup language whereas XML stands for extensible markup language so HTML is static that means whatever you write inside any HTML file it stays as it is but XML is dynamic that means there is a uh, simple connection between server or uh, database and xml so that's why xml is dynamic html can ignore small errors but xml doesn't allow any error xml tags are predefined tags as i have said earlier that you have to declare or define your own tags if you want to use xml and in html closing tags are not necessary but in xml closing tags are necessary so the, coming back to the last point, HTML tags are used for displaying data and XML tags are used for describing data and that makes a huge difference. Now we will see the XML structure. So XML documents have a hierarchical structure and can conceptually be interpreted as a tree structure called an xml tree so here you can see a simple xml is defined here at first you need to start xml as the xml tag and then you have to define your own tags like i have defined here message as my root tags and sender receiver date as children tags and inside every children tags i have declared my data so Harry, Leo and June 30 is my data and so just see the right section you will see that the message here is root and sender, receiver and date are the children. So uh, that is the hierarchical structure of XML. Now we will see xml elements and attributes so an xml element is everything from the elements start tag to the elements end tag and you can see in the example from starting of bookstore tag to the ending of bookstore tag everything is element here even all the children of it uh, is an element so what is attribute attributes are designed to contain data related to a specific element so if you choose a particular element of bookstore that is book 
we can see category equals to children is there so category is an attribute here so the value of the attribute is children so now we will see the XML HTTP request XML HTTP request is a built-in browser object that allows to make HTTP request in JavaScript so we will see it more practically so for that you need to create two files inside your system so I have created two files that is index.html and message.xml so you can use any operating system and I have opened my text editor inside it so just start writing code inside it you will definitely get to know about XML so as uh, the rules of HTML5 five, uh, I have to start with doc type HTML and after that start with HTML tag and again you have to start and end the body tag so inside the body tag I'm just declaring uh, head uh, or h1 tag so I'm just writing important message and here I'm declaring a division so inside division uh, for the styling I'm giving bold tag here and then span and giving the ID to 2 uh, it will simply show the some uh, show a, a simple message detail from where the message have been sent and the sender or receiver details and also the message body so you can see in the bold section I have written to from and message and in the span tag I have given ID given different ID for them so that's it so go to your message.xml file so here uh, you need to start your XML tag so write whatever I am writing so version 1.0 we are using because uh, the version of XML is 1.0 and also the encoding is UTF-8 so I am declaring a message tag here so as I have said earlier that you need to just define your own tags so I have defined message tag because there is no tag named message tag and inside it inside the message tag I am uh, again defining um, children tag that is 2 and inside 2 I am declaring a data that is Dr. Sass and uh, doing the same in the form tag and also in the body tag so in the for, from children tag uh, you can see Leo is there and in the body tag you can see hey a text from XML is there so now just save it and go back to index.html so for fetching those data you have to write in javascript so start script so first i am declaring a variable and storing the object of xml http inside it so write new xml http request and then uh, xml http dot open 
and the first is get the method you want to use so the open method actually initializes it and uh, it is usually uh, used after new XML HTTP request so you have to write XML HTTP dot send and this method actually opens the connection and stand, uh, sends the request uh, to the server now again I have to declare a variable I am naming it as XML doc equals to the object dot response XML and inside the XML doc it will store all the data inside the XML doc variable so now I need to select the element so I'm using document dot get element by ID so I'm going to replace uh, inside the first span tag that is uh, the ID is 2 so I'm just selecting the element by ID that is 2 and writing inside it so using the javascript method inner html equals to xml doc dot get elements by tag name so you can see the my tag is 2 my defined tag name is 2 so here i have to write 2 because i have to face data from that tag so here the 0th index and because there is only one child so I am writing as 0 and dot node value okay so now again you have to write okay so now again uh, again you have to write for the from tag so document dot get element by id select the from id and actually it will replace inside the span tag so whatever uh, the data will be fetched you know, from the XML file it will be replaced inside the span tag so just uh, write xml doc dot get elements by tag name so here i have used from so i have to write from and then again okay sorry uh, here you have to uh, again write zero because there are only one child of it that is for from so then again dot node value and it will give the value of that tag so again into uh, fetch or you, uh, you, know, you can say you have to select the uh, body part whatever the message it will be so for this I have to write document dot get element by id body the id of the body tag so dot inner html to write inside the tag so here i have used body as my user defined tag or defined by me we can say so here uh, we have to write again zero because that is the only tag and then again node value okay So that's it. Uh, just save it, and uh, I'm just naming it. So uh, so I'm writing for getting the data from two tag. So these two lines are used for getting data from two tag, and then these two lines are used for getting data from from tag and then again these two lines uh, are used for getting data from body tag okay 
so now uh, okay sorry I have made a mistake here so as the ID is message so I have to write message here so so open this index.html file inside your browser and when you will open this file inside your browser you will see that uh, those messages are there so thank you for watching